Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, uh, it's again we come to you today, Lord, uh, to thank you one more time, Lord, uh, for the word you have given us today, Lord, uh, and we thank you for your love uh, and your mercy uh, and another opportunity you give us uh, to share this word uh, with someone else, Lord. Uh, and I pray, Lord, tonight uh, you don't, won't let your word, your Word return that you void tonight, huh? and I pray, Lord, for everyone huh? that lists this video this saving Lord, huh? that you bless them from the top of their head huh? to the soles of their feet, Lord, huh? and uh, help their infirmities, Lord, huh? and the sickness, huh, Lord, huh? and I pray, Lord, to let us huh? I say something today huh? that would touch someone and help someone huh? along the way, huh? anoint or lift the clay, Lord, huh? and give us wisdom, speak your word. Uh, with understanding uh, that people will know uh, how much they need you. Uh, and Lord, I pray you fill uh, their heart, your Holy Spirit tonight, uh, that they will know how real you are, Lord. Uh, and those that have been saved, uh, let them know, Lord, uh, they're sealed until the day of redemption. Uh, I do you call us home. Uh, now, Lord, we pray uh, that you will bless someone tonight, Lord. Uh, these things we ask uh, in the wonderful name of the Lord and Savior. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ and Amen. Uh, and thank you, Father, for, for your mercy uh, and for your your grace and uh, for your love. Now today we're gonna be in the fifth chapter of the great book of Isaiah. And I want us to pay a close attention to how it reads right here. It's talking about the renewal of Zion. And things that's going to be done by God. I'm going to begin at verse number one, talking about, begin talking about the Lord's vineyard. And my friend, we're living in, in the Lord's vineyard today because the world is His vineyard. Chapter 5, King James Version Bible, Isaiah. And it begins, it reads this way. Now I will bring, I will sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved. Touching his vineyard, my well-beloved hath a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with choice vine and built a tower in the midst of it. A tower for, for the watchman said to uh, make sure no one destroyed the vineyard. And also made a wine press therein, and he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. Now why would it brought forth wild grapes? Because it became entangled, entangled with the wild grapes, uh, therefore the wild grapes took over. Just like the day, my friend, if we begin to follow uh, these false prophets and false teachers, uh, they'll get us so tangled up uh, in the Word, uh, we'll forget we ever was uh, uh, walking on the street, uh, uh, walking the path with our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, and we could go so far back uh, that we can even forget we've ever purged from old sins uh, because we try to dabble uh, in the world, uh, because we get entangled with it again uh, uh, through the false teaching uh, of others, my friend. Uh, so therefore, uh, be careful uh, who we follow. Uh, let's be sure we follow the word of God, uh, not, not the words of man. Uh, now let's he go on uh, a little farther. Uh, verse 3, And now, uh, O inhabitants of Jerusalem uh, and men of Judah, uh, uh, judge, I pray, you uh, betwixt me and my vineyard, uh, my friend, we got to make a choice. Uh, uh, which one we want uh, to serve and choose, uh, my friend, if we choose the Lord, uh, then we will automatically work uh, in his vineyard uh, uh, for him. Uh, but my friend, again, uh, if we let the world get us to tangle down uh, and pull away, uh, then we will go back into the world uh, and forget his vineyard. Uh, now listen to what he says. Uh, Verse 4, uh, what could have been done more uh, to my vineyard uh, 
that I have not done in it, wherefore when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes, and now go to, I will tell you what I will do to to my vineyard, I will take away the edge thereof, it shall be eaten up, and break down the walls thereof, and it shall be trodden down. My friend is like the day, my friend the farmer, I get out there and plant a good crop, and it's doing good, but all at once it withers away, and dies away, then my friend, it don't bring nothing, therefore the eternal cattle in, on that field uh, that brought nothing uh, because it be all they get uh, I what their, their stock and their cattle would eat uh, my friends of the words uh, take down the fences uh, my friend my friend my friend uh, uh, people lose uh, a lot of blessings of God uh, because they choose to follow the world uh, over following God uh, and my friend tonight uh, if you don't feel the presence uh, of that Holy Spirit uh, I didn't invite him into your heart uh, and you will come in and you know how real he is. Now listen, verse 6. And I will will lay it to waste. It shall not be pruned nor digged, but there shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain, no rain upon it. Uh, other words, turn off dry uh, and get no rain. Uh, and you know what a crop will do uh, with that water. Uh, it'll dry up uh, and dwindle away. Uh, now verse 7, for the vineyard uh, of the Lord of hosts uh, is the house of Israel. Uh, and the men of Judah is his pleasant plant. Uh, and he looked for judgment, uh, but uh, behold oppression uh, for righteousness, but but behold a cry they were looking for it looking for righteousness but my friend they was a cry for mercy hear why because they were starving they were hungry because they had nothing to eat and they were complaining but now let's see what happened Verse 8, now, huh? woe unto them that join house to house, uh, that they lay field to field, uh, that there be no place, uh, that they may be placed uh, alone in the midst uh, of the earth. Uh, my friend, they want to live out there by themselves. Uh, my friend, uh, they think the poor, uh, I get with them, uh, I cause them trouble. Uh, but they join houses to houses, land to land. Uh, my friend, though they can owe it all, own it all, uh, and be out there by theirself, I, I where no one else come in. I, they don't want other words. I, they don't want some poor person to have a little spot of ground. I, I to grow in a garden I, and some to eat. I, I, people are just as cruel today I, as they were then. I ever thought about being I, my friend, my friend. I, let us open our heart and open our mind I, to the word of God I, and remember what he said to us I, and tell us I, how to walk. I, if we want to be blessed by the Lord. Uh, we got to walk according uh, uh, to his word uh, as he bid us to come uh, and walk uh, with him. 9, verse 9, In mine ears said the Lord of hosts, Of a truth many houses shall be desolate, desolate and empty, even great and fair, without inhabitants, no one inside, because they be taken away from that fine things that they got, they'll be taken away from that fine home they were in, that they didn't want to be bothered by someone else, but my friend, now they're taken away, and that house will be left empty uh, without inhabitant. Uh, my friend, now listen and see uh, uh, what will happen to it uh, after everything is gone. Uh, ten, yea, ten acres of vineyard uh, shall yield one bath, uh, and the seed of the homer uh, shall yield and he pot, uh, woe unto them uh, that rise up early uh, in the morning that they may fall strong drink uh, that continue until night uh, till wine inflame them uh, and the harp and the vow uh, uh, the tarbid and the pipe uh, and wine are in their feast uh, but they regard not the work uh, of the Lord uh, neither consider to a pre operation uh, of his hands uh, my friend have his music and he have his 
dancing, uh, my friend of the world, uh, not considering the hands of God, uh, not considering uh, all things belong to Him, uh, and everything is in the hands of God. Uh, therefore, therefore uh, they forget about Him, uh, but my friend, uh, their price to pay uh, to forgetting about the Lord. Uh, and the harp and the vow, uh, the tarbid and the pipe, uh, and wine are in their feast. Uh, my friend are making music, uh, my friend is singing, uh, they, but they regard not the work of the Lord. Uh, they don't pay no attention to that, uh, uh, neither consider uh, the approach, operation of his hands. Uh, they don't consider what he does. Uh, my friend, if you think uh, that the word consider don't mean a lot, uh, uh, trace it down, run it down, uh, and your scripture is that one word consider uh, and see how many things uh, you read in God's word uh, about how we are to consider uh, uh, what we do, uh, my friend, uh, and how we live our life. Uh, my friend, my friend, look into God's word uh, and see what you find. Uh, now 13, uh, therefore my people are gone into captivity uh, because they have no knowledge uh, and their honorable men uh, are famished uh, and their multitude dried up uh, with thirst. Uh, my friend, they didn't have a guiding teacher. Uh, my friend, because uh, they went along with the world uh, and they got the word. Uh, they didn't have have a teacher, uh, my friend, the one they had. Uh, they were listening to false prophets and teachers uh, that led them astray uh, uh, back out into the world. Uh, therefore, things uh, were taken away from them. Uh, my friend, my friend, let's be careful uh, and don't give anything away uh, uh, to the devil. Uh, he uses that uh, kind of people, uh, my friend, to rob us uh, of the blessing of God uh, and take our blessings away. Uh, he does everything thing he can. Uh, uh, the old devil, uh, he does everything he can. Uh, he uses everyone he can uh, to take us away uh, uh, from the Lord uh, and rob us of his Lord's blessing uh, uh, to us. Uh, my friend, but we don't have to follow him. Uh, we got the word to follow him uh, and the Lord Jesus uh, will show us the way. Uh, if we call upon him and follow him uh, and lean upon him only, uh, he would take care of us. Uh, now listen. Therefore, 13 again, therefore my people uh, are gone in captivity uh, because they have no knowledge, my friend. Uh, they didn't look in the word. Uh, they didn't listen to the men of God. Uh, therefore, uh, the one that led them astray didn't feed them, uh, didn't give them no knowledge. Uh, and their honorable men uh, uh, are famished. Uh, and their multitude, dry, multitude uh, dried up with thirst. Uh, therefore hell has enlarged herself uh, and opened her mouth without measure uh, and their glory and their multitude uh, and their pomp uh, and he that re rejoices shall uh, descend into it. Uh, my friend, he was not prepared for mankind uh, but for the devil and his angels uh, and those, my friend, uh, that reject God's word uh, I don't want it. I don't want no part of the Lord Jesus. I don't want no, they don't even want nobody to pray in Jesus' name. They don't want no one to pray for their own children. They don't want no one to pray for someone else. For the nation or the country, my friend. One day, they gonna regret that, my friend, with a great regret. But they can't change it. They go too far, my friend. And one day, uh, they gonna see the one they pushed around uh, and kicked around. Uh, they gonna see them in the portal of glory, uh, uh, rejoicing uh, in God's love. Uh, and they won't get to go. Uh, uh, why did I say that? Uh, I said that because of the rich man and Lazarus. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, when the rich, rich man uh, opened up his eyes, my friend, uh, he could see Lazarus uh, far off in Abraham. Bosom, uh, but he couldn't go to him, uh, and he began to beg for water, uh, just a drop of water to hold up on the tip of his finger, uh, to touch his tongue, uh, because he was tormented in the flame. Uh, my friend, this scripture right here, uh, it pro proves over and over uh, uh, what's going to happen uh, to those kind of people. Uh, 
15 and the mean man uh, shall be brought down, uh, and the mighty man uh, shall be humbled, uh, and the eyes of the lofty uh, shall be humbled. Uh, but the Lord of hosts shall be uh, exalted in judgment, uh, and God is, uh, and God, God that is uh, holy, uh, shall be sanctified in righteousness. Uh, then shall the lambs uh, appear after their manner, uh, and the waters places. Uh, Waste places, uh, <clears throat> the fat one shall strangers eat. Uh, woe unto them that draw iniquity uh, uh, with cords of vanity. Uh, what is vanity uh, is the lying tongues, uh, vanity uh, and sin as it were with a cart rope. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh, uh, sin is so heavy, uh, it would destroy all things, uh, it would destroy uh, everything. Uh, my friend, my friend, sin uh, will destroy a person uh, and take them down uh, uh, to that place called hell uh, uh, we were just talking about. Uh, therefore, my friend, uh, don't follow her sin, don't follow her sin, uh, and you that's been saved, uh, and watch in his blood. Uh, don't follow that sin, my friend, uh, because it lead us uh, uh, farther down the road than we want to go. Uh, and it, it can't take us so far uh, that we never get back uh, to where we once was uh, in the knowledge uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, they bid many shouted and sung uh, to the glory of God, uh, but they took their eyes off of the Lord. Uh, and my friend, we got to looking back. Uh, uh, to the world, uh, gone back into the world uh, and its pleasures. Uh, it took them so far down, uh, they never did get back. Uh, and many of them uh, uh, went on to meet uh, their reward, uh, not getting back to where they wanted to go uh, because uh, uh, time run out for them, my friend. Uh, so therefore, uh, my friend, let us be wary, uh, let us be uh, sure, uh, my friend, and lean on the Lord, uh, not let the world take us that far away uh, from the Lord uh, that we desire to get back uh, and cannot get back. Uh, now listen, let's, let's go on a little farther. Verse 18 again, uh, Woe unto them that draw iniquity uh, with cords of penalty uh, and sin, uh, as it were with a cart rope, uh, that say, uh, Let him make speed and hasten uh, his work, uh, that we may see it, uh, and let the counsel of the Holy One uh, of Israel draw nigh, uh, and come that uh, we may know it. Uh, Woe unto them that call evil good, uh, and good evil, uh, that put darkness for light, uh, and light for darkness, uh, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet uh, are for bitter. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh, watch what we do, uh, my friend, uh, don't call sin good, no matter uh, how sin is, little sin it might seem, uh, it's still no good, uh, my friend, uh, don't let sin draw us away uh, uh, from the Lord. Uh, now listen, I'm going to read this again. Uh, Woe to them that draw iniquity uh, with cords of vanity uh, and sin uh, uh, as, as it were a cart rope uh, that say uh, let him make speed uh, they try to rush back uh, uh, the Lord's coming uh, and hasten his work uh, that we may see it uh, and let the uh, counsel of the Holy One uh, of Israel draw nigh and come, uh, that we may know it. Uh, woe unto them that call evil good, uh, and good evil, uh, that put darkness for light, uh, and light for darkness, uh, that uh, you put bitter for sweet. Uh, that put bitter for sweet, uh, and sweet for bitter. Uh, woe unto them that are wise uh, in their own eyes, uh, and prudent in their own sight. Uh, woe unto them uh, that are mighty to drink wine, uh, and men to uh, strength uh, to mingle strong drink, uh, which justify the wicked for reward, uh, and take away uh, the righteous and off the righteous uh, uh, from him. Uh, uh, try to rob him that he cannot speak. Uh, 
of the word of God. They tried to rob him so he can't rejoice in the Lord and what he has. They steal it away by planting a seed that's untrue in the heart of people. My friend, through their false teaching that they teach and they shout to people today. Twenty-four, uh, therefore, as the fire uh, devours the stubble, uh, and the flame consume uh, the chaff, uh, so their root shall be uh, as rottenness, and their blossom uh, shall be uh, go up as dust, uh, because they have uh, cast away the law uh, of the Lord uh, of hosts, uh, and despised the word uh, of the Holy One of Israel. Uh, my friend, the whole world is doing that today. Uh, they despise the word of God. Uh, I'm not saying everyone does, my friend, uh, but all those unrighteous, uh, all those that try to rob us of our blessings uh, and hinder us uh, for serving the Lord, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, my friend, that's what is going to happen to uh, Therefore is the anger uh, of the Lord kindled against uh, his people, uh, and he has stretched forth his hand uh, against them, uh, and has smitten them, uh, and uh, the hills uh, did, tr did tremble, uh, and their carcasses were torn uh, in the midst of the, uh, the streets. Uh, for all this his anger uh, is not turned away, uh, but his hand is stretched out still, uh, and he will lift up uh, an ensign uh, uh, to the nation from far, uh, and will hiss unto them uh, from the end of the earth. Uh, and behold, they shall come uh, with speed swiftly. Uh, none shall be weary, uh, nor stumble uh, among them. None shall slumber nor sleep, neither shall the girdle of their loins be loose, nor the latches of their shoes be broken, whose arrows are sharp, and all their bows bend, their horses' hooves shall be counted like flint, and their wheels like a whirlwind. My friend, my friend, their roaring shall be like a lion that shall roar along like young lions, uh, yea, they shall roar and lay hold uh, of the prey, uh, and shall carry it away, uh, uh, safe and none uh, shall deliver it, uh, and in that day uh, uh, they uh, shall roar against them, uh, like the roaring of the sea, uh, and if one look uh, up to the land, uh, unto the sea, uh, unto the, and it, and in that day uh, they shall roar against them uh, like a roaring of the sea. Uh, and if one uh, look unto uh, uh, the land, uh, behold darkness and sorrow, uh, and the light is darkened uh, in the heavens uh, uh, thereof. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh, the Lord's going to have the final word uh, to say, uh, and he will perform exactly uh, what he said. Uh, therefore, my friend, take heed and listen uh, to God's word, uh, and rejoice that you've been saved, uh, that you're ready to go, uh, and you know you're going home in the morning. Uh, when the morning comes, uh, therefore give God uh, and the glory and praise. Uh, and thank Jesus, my friend, uh, that went to the cross uh, and died for our sins that we could be forgiven. Uh, and left his word uh, here uh, for us to read and study and show us uh, the right road to go. Uh, that would point us to the good direction uh, and make the right choice uh, when the time comes. Uh, and then when this life is over uh, and the world is done, uh, my friend, we can go home uh, to rejoice with him uh, forevermore uh, over on uh, that golden shore. Uh, and I pray, Lord, uh, my pray that you will say her here the prayer today. Uh, let us be sure in this gospel uh, with the lost and dying world uh, and be ready to go. Uh, uh, when he comes in the morning, uh, then we'll be blessed uh, when he calls our name. Now we're going to go into another video. We're going to say a prayer over the closing message. It would not be right if it didn't. But my friends, if they reject this, they're rejecting God. If they don't want to hear this prayer, then they don't want to hear God. But I won't judge them, because between them and God, 